Do you think America will fall to fascism? I think what we said about fascism before is that it's anti-fascism is a big, as it currently it's currently manifest is you know is a big uh, distraction, and it's also uh, something that's been cucking the left in the West. This fear of fascism, when in fact fascism is already an arm of the American octopus. Look at what's going on in Ukraine right now. Like what's going on in Eastern Europe and elsewhere in the world. Um, fascism is not necessarily something that's going to happen in America. It's something that's already... The, the, fascism never was in the core, okay? It was always something funded by remote investors of liberal countries. The issue isn't fascism, it's liberalism. Because fascism is just the hired thug of liberal democracy. Democracy, right? When Vos says the goal is to defend democracy, uh, he doesn't understand that fascism is actually the hired arm of what he's calling liberal democracy, right? It, fascism itself poses no threat to liberalism. <laughs> um, and that's why Oswald Mosley in England was laughed to the bank, at least in the 30s. He was a clown, it was not possible in England. It was neither possible in the United States. You had the businessman's plot. But who foiled the businessman's plot in the United States? A high-ranking general, Smedley Butler. Look him up. There was no possibility of fascism in America or England. Because American and English elites were the ones who bankrolled fascism in the first place. America-backed countries amount of... Exactly. Mercenaries, death squads, fascist military juntas look at the history of the cold war none of this is new okay instead of fearing the boogeyman of fascism go to the source it's american liberalism tifa is just a mantle that any liberal could put in order well if you're not a liberal you're a fascist right anything beyond liberalism is fascism that's what fascism means today it means something beyond the threshold of liberalism You'll notice that people will share Umberto Eco's 12 point, 12 vague ass points of fascism. Oh well, if there's not, yeah, if if there's a other, if there's an otherization, and there's us versus them, it's fascism. Well, you want to know what the first us versus them was? It was the class struggle. I don't know if you're saying Marx and Engels were fascists, but they were definitely setting up a situation, <laughs> theoretically. I don't know at least. Where there was an us versus them situation laid out pretty explicitly. There's the proletariat and the class enemy. Is that fascism? Well, if you listen to the Umberto Eco people and all those type of liberal fascism mongers, they're going to tell you that Stalinists are fascists, leftists are fascists, we're fascists, China's fascist, everyone's fascist. Why not just ignore this distraction? Okay, we're all going to be fascists in the eyes of liberals. There's no need to get bogged down into the um, the distraction that is so-called anti-fascism. Okay. Yep. Exactly. U.S. oil ha helped insure Germany and had an army that could easily destroy Republic in Spain and the USSR. Yeah. Well, these weird Anglo financiers and elites. You guys, look up a video. You can see of the 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 English royal family was doing Nazi salutes in the 30s. So something was going on, okay? You can call me a conspiracy theorist, but I have the inclination, okay? It's my intuition. It's my, uh, it's my impression that something was going on in the world of the elites that was connected to German fascism. There's a lot of indications of that. Uh, again, the businessman's plot thing, all sorts of things like that.